So what we've seen is, unlike APV, where we couldn't actually, they don't really sell off the uh, tax yet, here we have a situation where we're dividing up the free cash flow into different buckets. And actually what they're doing is they're selling off to the tax equity investors the taxes, in offense, whatever they are, that's what they get. And the, and the people who buy those uh, tax equity are people who have income that they can use the lo early losses and you know, tax shelter associated with uh, the taxes, the lowering of the taxes. That's valuable to them, so that's embedded in that. They also get 50% of the equity cash, the equity EBITDA for the first six years, and they wind up with a return. That's what they're buying for their $400 million. What's left over to the equity investors is what doesn't, after the tax equity gets it, and then we have a different set of flow. We actually can estimate a, uh, a IRR for that particular investment. Now, uh, what's important to sort of note here is that overall, the return for the sponsor's equity is higher, the IRR is higher, which makes sense because the tax equity investors get paid first, and this is a remainder flow. Now, the key thing to understand with the tax equity investors is that what they get is not promised by the project. What they get is going to be the result of the project. So they are sort of, in a sense, equity investors, okay, because their ultimate flows are going to be depend upon what the actual flows of the project are. These, these flows that we see here to the tax equity investors are expected flows. They're not guaranteed in the same way that they would be debt. Okay.